And Early Prime continues now. I'm Lou Waters. I'm Cheryl Atkinson. First to the Space Shuttle Endeavor and its mission full of firsts. The first married couple in space, the first black female astronaut, and the first Japanese citizen to fly on a U.S. spaceship. The shuttle's commander and pilot are standing by for an interview with CNN's Tony Clark. They join us live. Cheryl, there are a lot of firsts in this, but uh, when it comes to the commander, Hoot Gibson, Hoot is an old hand at this. This is Hoot's fourth time. He is uh, perhaps the old man. He does not like to say this, but he is the old man of the astronaut office. Hoot, what's it like being up there for the fourth time? Well, it's, uh, gee, it's wonderful being up there for the fourth time, Tony. I, I, I don't know if it's worth being the old man of the office to do it, but, uh, no, it's, it's everything I remember that it always, uh, that it always has been and, uh, and more on the fourth trip. I think every, every single trip gets better. Kurt Brown is the pilot. Kurt, or, Kurt is the, uh, is a rookie here. Kurt, what were your impressions now that you've gone into space in your first flight with, uh, with your elder statesman there? like for the two of you, Hoot, you fly racing planes, uh, Kurt, you fly acrobatic planes. I mean, you two are, are really pilots, and this is very much a, a science kind of mission. Isn't this a little dull for the two of you? Oh, I, Tony, no, I would not call it dull. It, it has a different sort of challenges than the kind of challenges that you face either with a racing airplane or with an, with an aerobatic biplane. One of the challenges that You have done a, uh, a good job of conserving fuel and other supplies on this so that Ron Stone was saying a couple of hours ago that there is the chance that you all could stay in orbit uh, one more day, an extra day, come back on Sunday, uh, while the scientists will be the one to make the final decision. What uh, recommendation would you make to them? You wouldn't mind uh, staying up one more day, would you? Nah, you could probably uh, you could probably break both legs and I'd still stay up here. No, I'd, I'd wear both heels off on my boots trying to stay up here. It's, it's an awesome place. We've been uh, watching Dr. Uh, Mori a lot uh, on the downlink. How's he doing up there? as much data all by himself as, as one and a half or two people 
produced on other missions, so he has really, really got his hands full on this flight. I remember yeah, who... He was just trying to keep him supplied with, with food and then try to talk him into eating his food instead of working all the time and, and maybe take a break out to look out the window. I understood someone said that uh, he brought chopsticks on, uh, on board for you all. We were, we were giving him a bad time about that yesterday because he does. He has, uh, I don't know, six or eight sets of chopsticks that he brought on board. And he also has uh, a selection of, uh, of Japanese entrees, too. And, and he's been eating those, but he hasn't been using his chopsticks. He's been using our, our standard old space forks and space spoons that we use. So we were giving him a little bit of a bad time, but I think he just doesn't have time uh, to slow down and use the chopsticks. I think his, his, comment, his comment actually was that the spoon is the most important space item to have. <laughs> Commander, <laughs> Pilot uh, Kurt Brown, uh, thank you all very much. We appreciate it, and obviously we will be watching uh, your work throughout the week and our hopes uh, that you do get an extension and, and can stay up that extra day. Of course, thank you, Tony. Good to talk to you today. Of course, we will be following them throughout the week. The current landing is scheduled uh, for Saturday, uh, but NASA may decide to extend that until Sunday. I'm Tony Clark, CNN Center. Lou?